अप क्लोज एंड पर्सनल विथ सुधा मूर्ति एवरी ह्यूमन बींग इज एन आईलैंड एंड द ओनली वे यू कैन कनेक्ट इज थ्रू अ ब्रिज एंड द ब्रिज इज रिलेशनशिप इट इज कम्पैशन इट इज काइंड वर्ड्स इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज मनी इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज मनी आई वर्क विथ सेक्स वर्कर्स and it was very hard for me to connect with them you know because there everybody used to think i'm a school teacher and i got a good image or they will never open up that's right and uh, later we i developed friendship with them and they told me we don't want money from you you should listen our story then give your sympathetic ear to me and there i realized philanthropy does not mean always money philanthropy means to be compassionate to somebody's difficulty a lot of people think that you know you can buy your own jet you can buy condominiums in the south of france and so on and so forth yet you will travel air deck and yet you continue to live in a three bedroom apartment that your maybe you know the one extreme of people sort of wearing their wealth on their sleeves and making a statement with money but you're the other extreme because i am not a rich man so daughter my father was a professor and a doctor my grandfather was a school teacher i come from a distinguished Uh, academic background family and i have seen so much difficulties of many people in life and money cannot money can buy you comfort it can help you to build infrastructure but money is not all in all in life at all uh, but to go to the extent of i believe you haven't bought anything for yourself in 5 years you stopped years. for 15 years <laughs> stop shopping altogether to go to that extreme because i really feel i'm contented inside i don't require I really don't require, I don't it's a, I feel repulsive when I go to a shop can you imagine I feel extremely uncomfortable when I'm in a shop I said mm. what am I Why doing? you like this though before interest happened and uh, before no. the money happened before the money maybe to some extent I used to go or maybe when you get too much money probably you lose interest in buying that could be one of the reasons but maybe from the beginning I was not great shopper maybe because I had a short uh, lot small amount of money I never shopped also later I lost that and I felt uh, looking at so many difficulties that how does it matter if i wear such an expensive thing what who i want to prove what i want to prove and to great extent because this book helped me a lot which was taught to me again when i was 19 years old the conversation between the lord of death yama and the young boy nachiketa how you should look at life look at life in the eyes of death that is not the kathopanishad and i really learned it but i never understood much and later part of my life i realized nothing is permanent in life what exists everything perishes and i'm greatly influenced by buddhism a great extent buddha says what exists it perishes when everything is perishable why worry about it